So, Dr. Gilbert, despite the highly vascular nature of glioblastomas, you had a null result um, in efficacy with, with uh, bevacizumab uh, in, this, in this study, RTOG 0825, um, and actually negative results in some of the quality of life outcomes, the patient reported outcomes, and some of the investigator uh, reviewed outcomes. Could you e expand on why that might be? So I think the, to the first question, why the primary outcome of overall survival um, wasn't positive, one could speculate that we had built into the study a crossover so that the patients who were on the placebo arm had the opportunity at time of tumor progression to actually get salvage treatment with bevacizumab. Um, we feel that bevacizumab has activity in the disease and that was shown in multiple studies in recurrence. And so answering the question whether it's better as frontline or salvage regimen, um, we didn't find differences and I think based on these results in my practice I would say if we have equivalent benefit early or late then reserve it as a later treatment. Um, as far as the changes in in the patient reported outcomes, the symptom burden, quality of life and neurocognitive function, that occurred towards the later part of the progression free survival period. So early on the two groups were equal in this, those modalities, but over time, a higher percentage of patients in the bevacizumab-containing arm showed worsening in those modalities. And there's um, speculation that that may be due to subclinical tumor progression that just was not appreciated on imaging, although that must remain a speculation. There would be no way to decipher that, but that would be an early uh, evidence of progression even before we would appreciate it on imaging. Now we are planning to go back and to see whether in those patients who showed that decline, whether soon after that they actually were declared as progression that would, I think, add substance to that hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in this meeting we've heard other trials of results of bevacizumab and glioblastoma with more favorable results. One of them was a trial sponsored by Roche, maker of or co-marketer of, uh, of bevacizumab. Uh, do you think that the results of the other trials, um, some of them were smaller in size, uh, that there could be some kind of difference in the way that they analyze results or in, in, in the uh, so, bias? So I, I think the, um, the trial that was sponsored by Roche called Avaglio had very similar primary outcomes. They also had co-primary outcomes of progression-free survival and overall survival. Um, as we learned yesterday, the overall survival uh, goal was not reached, but their progression-free survival was reached. But they also had a, a similar prolongation of survival. Our um, placebo patients seem to do a little better than theirs. Again, comparing study to study is always difficult. They did, as we did, a placebo-controlled, double-blinded trial, so I think the design was very similar. Their um, review of the quality of life data, um, again, that they restricted their patient-reported outcomes to quality of life, and they did a different analysis than the one that we performed. Um, the analysis or analyses that were performed on our trial, OA25, were those that we had pre-specified at the beginning as had they, but there was not synergy between the two studies. And I think the plan is now to go back and to form a collaboration uh, between their study group and the RTOG study group and to see if we can really glean why there were differences um, and to do the analyses uh, from one study and bring it over to the other and see if we can reconcile what appears to be a, a, a difference uh, in the results. And they are impactful because prolonging uh, progression and accompanying that by maintenance or improvement in quality of life would be a significant advance. Conversely, if there isn't any preservation or there is not that benefit during progression-free survival, then I think you're looking at the survival, overall survival, in which case restricting it or for most patients, keeping bevacizumab as a salvage regimen would be more appropriate. So it, it is a, a pivotal collaboration that, that needs to ensue.